that for you. So no matter what room or environment that you get into, make sure you pay attention, make sure you're standing on business, and make sure you're prepared to say what you want to do, who you are, and be proud and have the confidence in yourself. How y'all doing? My name is Justin. I'm 18 years old. I'm from East Orange. Um, I want to pursue be a full-time pursuit of my public brand and I want to be a firefighter. Nice. Go ahead. My true power is I say help you out most of Hello, my name is oh wait, is this on? Sorry. You gotta be real loud. Okay. Hello, my name is Cheyenne and I am 15 years old. I am a rising sophomore. And what I want to do in life is that I want to pursue an art, fashion, and business. And one of my superpowers is making people feel welcome. Hello, my name is Bonk. I'm 18. I'm going to college for entrepreneurship. And I want to also pursue my clothing brand full time. And my superpower is I'm very understanding and I can help different people with different things. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So, what do I do with somebody? What did she do? She came up here, she told her story, she told us to stand on vision, she asked us what's our superpower, what do we want to do. My superpower with my part of my business is I go around and I help students like you figure out what they want to do. That's my business. Ever since I was young, I wanted to help people. I didn't know that's what I was going to do. I had mentors. I got mentorship, I worked, my degrees are in counseling, I worked in every capacity of counseling that you can think of, I worked in hospitals, I worked in jails, I did outpatient, and then I started working in schools. And I said to myself, I don't want to stay in just one school and work with just one district and one set of students. And after COVID, I was tired, and I wanted to do something different, so out of survival, and not being happy with my everyday and I wanted to change myself, I wrote a book. So I'm also an author. I have a book called I Forgive Myself for Forgetting Myself. And then I started creating things, writing in my journal and writing all the things that I wanted to do. I created a bucket list. That bucket list turned into my business. And then I birthed my business school councils on wheels. And now I just travel to be able to pour into yourself. So if anything, I want to teach you today from my story as I close my speech, resilience, <coughs> Fighting, identifying your superpowers. Some of you be like, I don't know. I think, I guess. Remove those words and know what makes you you, what makes you unique. Go after it. Get yourself a mentor. Study hard. Stand on business. Present yourself in a room. When somebody asks you a question or tell you to come up and speak or they say hello to you, make sure you answer all of those and make sure you present yourself the way you want to be represented. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, so we got a couple more speakers. I just want to, yes. What's your question? I forgot. Anybody have any questions? Come up. Yes. I just want to know how did your psychology degree transfer into like when you want to start the business? Great question, great question. So the question was, he had actually two questions. So the first question, Kwan wanted to know, what did I do to get in trouble? Okay. Oh, okay. And then the second question is, how did I take my degree and turn it into my business? So first, um, and it's okay, it's part of my story, you can find it anywhere. Um, I was being disrespectful, I wasn't listening, I wasn't coming home. And what did I tell you? My mom had me when she was young. My grandmother raised me. She was working three jobs to take care of me and my brother. I was the oldest. She didn't have time to keep telling me more than 13 times to follow the rules. So in her house, if I'm not listening to her rules, I couldn't be there anymore. So I had to leave. And then I went on this missionary trip where I went with this church group to Haiti. And cold showers, sleeping on the floor, taught some students there some English, and it humbled me very quickly to appreciate who I had, who was in my life, what I had, and I came back and I started getting myself together. As far as counseling, how did psychology transform into my business? I wasn't sure at first. Um, I wasn't even sure when I first went to Bloomfield College, my first year, I didn't have a major. I didn't know what I liked. So I just started taking all of my prerequisites, all of the courses that was required, 
but then I started also taking courses that I liked, but also making sure I got credit, credit for it. So I was being strategic. I wasn't just taking fillers, weight room, just BS classes. I started taking things that I liked, and then I kept pursuing psychology, and I really liked that. Then I said, okay, I'm going to further this, and I went to graduate school because I knew in the field of psychology, you minimally have to have a master's to really get into certain fields and to make a certain amount of money. And I knew I had to be strategic and pay attention to what, where my path was going. And then as far as my business, it was just something that during COVID, a lot of parents, a lot of students, students that I graduated, they started calling me and just was like, what am I going to do? I need help. And then I started to say, you know what? I could do that with my business. So this past year, I, I was in a school district in Plainfield. And that senior class, I'm proud of this, we helped them get over $8 million in scholarships so that they can go to school. So that they can go to school. So my passion for helping, my strategic thinking with what I was interested in also helped me provide results to be able to help give back into students that look like me to be able to have a plan A, B, or C to do what we have to do. So I appreciate that. Any other questions? Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Yes. <laughs> we just talked about that. Stand as a lever. Yes. Why are you getting yourself to another question? Come up. Okay. Name, question. Hello, this is Cheyenne again. And you mentioned that you help find students find out what they want to do. So what is one of, like, what is your um, most inspiring students that have, um, that you've helped? Love that. Give it up for Cheyenne. Right? Yeah. That was a good so her question is, she heard me explain that I help students find out their gifts, find out what they're interested in and their career paths and be able to see what they would like to do. So what are some of my inspirational stories? So I have a lot of stories, and they all hit a little bit different, but they're all important to me. Um, but the ones that really mean the most is me working with students that really are frustrated, and they're really at their senior year, and they really don't know, like they're at the breaking point that they don't want to come to school, and that they don't care if they graduate. So for me, it's really saying you just got this far, right? So you really, you really about to turn your, you know, walk away from. Like, don't worry about everything else. I always tell people to quiet the noise around them. We listen to too many people. We got a, a lot going on. We get distracted. So I really look at, and I say, your gifts is called your secret sauce. So what is your gift, your talents, the things that you're interested in? Something that when you wake up and you do something, you're not really trying, but you enjoy to do it. And I really start helping them create a game plan about what that looks like. But at the same time, we're in a recession. We need money, right? So looking at what does that look like for you, and you can get paid for it too. So thank you for that. That was a dope question. Give it up for Cheyenne. Last, last question, comment. So hi, it's Nahila again. Not really a question, but I just wanted to say, because um, me and my friend were talking about it a little bit over there, your jumpsuit looks so great and so oh, beautiful. <laughs> Love how thank bold you. and how vibrant it is. You just look very stylish. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. So thank you for the compliment. So growing up, Sometimes colors being too bright. Somebody told me one time, you always smile and you got too much energy. You wear black clothes. Turn it down a little bit. Don't ever let anyone dim your light. So if somebody says that to you, I tell them just to go buy a pair of shades and keep it moving. All right, I got one more guest that I'm going to bring up, and you all know Mr. C. I'm making